Welcome to this episode of On Finding Peace, brought to you by Life's Journey Life Coaching. Our host, Chris Shea, is a counselor, nationally recognized speaker, and author on topics of guiding us to finding peace in our daily lives. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com. And welcome, everyone, to another episode of On Finding Peace. I'm your host, Chris Shea, and this podcast is focused on presenting tips and techniques that we can use in our lives to help us to find inner peace and happiness. If you have any suggestions for topics, please let me know through social media or email. My contact information is found at my website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com. The topic for this episode is what I learned from twigs. In the episode, I'll talk about my reflection of some twigs lying in my yard after a storm, and then explain the three life lessons that I learned from those twigs. For you see, recently a storm came through my area, bringing with it gusty winds and heavy rain. Where I live, storms are commonplace, especially in the spring. That period immediately following a rainstorm is one of my favorite times to go outside. If you have never experienced nature immediately following a rainstorm, I strongly suggest you give it a try. Personally, the air seems clear and fresher, and there's a distinct smell of cleanliness permeating the air. For me, it's nature's way of cleansing the earth. When you do venture outside, you'll most probably notice debris on the ground, consisting of dead twigs, branches, and anything else that has fallen from the trees. Cleaning up after a strong storm is not typically a favorite pastime of mine. But recently, when I was mowing the yard... I noticed a pile of dead twigs which had fallen over the course of many storms. The positioning of the twigs gave me pause and a moment of reflection. When I started mowing the yard, I wasn't planning to reflect upon fallen tree limbs and twigs. But after noticing those branches, I couldn't help but to reflect on them as I continued to mow the lawn. The first thought that came to mind is that of the circle of life. I reflected on the purpose of those twigs and how those twigs perfectly performed the functions they were meant to perform. These twigs grew as the result of the tree, gaining sustenance from both the tree and the land around the tree. These twigs not only took from the tree and the land, but they also contributed to the further growth of the tree by sprouting their leaves. Those leaves provided sustenance to the tree. They provided shade for those who needed it, and the leaves provided the precious air that we all need to live. But now those very twigs lay dead on the ground, taken from the tree by wind and rain. As I further reflected on the twigs, I realized that even though they are now lying on the ground, it wasn't necessarily a sad moment. Even though these twigs no longer brought light or shade or air, nature not only washes herself clean, but she is also a great recycler. Those twigs, although dead and lying on the ground, continue to bring forth life from the land. Those twigs will become food for some creatures, while other creatures will end up breaking down those twigs into nutrients, which is needed by the soil in order for new life to spring forth. So, what have I learned from my reflection on the twigs while I was mowing the lawn? Number one, periodically clean the clutter 
or the dead twigs from your life. Discover in yourself those thoughts, actions, perceptions, which do not bring you life, but instead wear you down by their weight and their deadness. Shake them free from you. Get rid of anything in your life which is not life-giving or not supportive of your needs of happiness, growth, and peace. Number two, take the time to recognize your need to slow down and become mindful of your surroundings. Change your perspective so that you can realize the good in a situation. I could have either not noticed those twigs, or I could have become upset that I now had more work to do by needing to remove the twigs. Instead, I fortunately chose to pause and simply to notice the twigs. In that act of noticing without judgment, I ended up learning from these twigs. And the third thing that I learned, recognize that no matter your situation, you do have a purpose. Even though dead and plucked from great heights to now lay on the ground, those twigs continue to serve a purpose. Granted, the purpose has changed, and most likely not the purpose wanted by those twigs, if twigs could want a purpose, but it is still an essential purpose nonetheless. The challenge is for us to discover and embrace our purpose in life, whatever that purpose may be. I would like to hear from all of you about your experiences on this topic and any other areas of nature that you have taken the time to pause and reflect. What have you learned from nature? Please share with us either on this site or going over to my website, lifesjourneyblog.com, and there you'll find the many social media ways that you can connect with me and share those thoughts. I hope you found this episode helpful, and if so, spread the word by sharing with and telling your friends about this podcast. Thank you, and may all of you have a mindful day. Thank you for listening to this episode with Chris Shea. Learn more about Chris Shea by visiting his website, www.lifesjourneyblog.com.